Well, the new movie American Underdog is the inspirational true story of Kurt Warner, who went from stocking shelves at a grocery store to becoming a Hall of Fame quarterback. Take a look. As long as I have a ball in my hands, I feel alive. Kind of like how I feel right now. I'm staying here. I got work to do. Work? The NFL's not going to draft some dude from the NAA school in Iowa. There were other offers. I called every team in the NFL. No one's interested. Can I get one of your applications? I promised that I would take care of you and the kids. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. If this is your dream, don't give up on it. Ooh, gave me chills watching that. It really did. Zachary Levi plays Kurt Warner in the film, and he joins us now to talk about this. It looks absolutely incredible. Zachary, good morning. Thank you. Thank you. And good morning. I really appreciate that. I'm glad it gave you chills. It did. No, it absolutely did. Because, you know, so many of us do know the story. There's always those, you know, those nuances along the way, though, that, that we don't know about that makes it even more impressive. But I guess my, my first question for you is just how familiar were you with the story before you signed on to this? Or did you end up learning a lot along the way? Well, I think I knew what most of us did, at least any of us who were tracking the story back in 99, 2000. I mean, it was incredible. It was the Cinderella story. This guy comes out of nowhere as this undrafted, much older rookie. And then, uh, you know, takes his team, the St. Louis Rams, all the way to the Super Bowl and wins it. Nobody saw that coming. Right. But, uh, you know, I knew that he had been stocking shelves. Like, that was one of the bullet points you kept hearing in the press at that time. But it wasn't until I read the script and sat down and talked to Kurt and Brenda that I'd learned so much more about the context of, of his life, of her life, of their relationship of her kids and how that whole family unit galvanized and all the love and faith that was created there and um, the support structure and and uh, you know and, and the journey and the struggle and the ups and downs and scraping change out of your car doors to put gas in the mm -hmm. tank I mean that kind of stuff I didn't know any of that and it was uh, it just made the story even that much more inspiring I can only imagine truly okay so so what was it like for you you know playing an athlete a real person and, and I heard you mention just a second ago that that you were able to you know to talk with Kurt and to get his take so what did he suggest I mean you're playing a real person I feel like that adds some pressure Pressure to it. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you, you you ain't just whistling Dixie. Yeah, no, it's it's crazy. Uh, you know, it's it's it, it's it, but it's it's equally uh, or equally, it's even more so, even more crazy, I think, because in that. You know, sometimes you do a, a, a biopic and you're Daniel Day-Lewis playing Abraham Lincoln, who, by the way, and he crushed that role, but nobody can hold up footage of the True. two of them and compare, compare and contrast. Yeah. Really. Yeah. I'm playing a dude who's still very much alive, still very much famous, and, and still very much in the public eye. Yeah. So anybody can, can do that. So there's that pressure that you, I think you put on yourself that maybe other people put on you as well. I didn't feel any of that from, from Kurt uh, uh, or Brenda. I, you know, they were very supportive. Um, obviously they, you know, <laughs> I mean, I think, I think, uh, um, there, there's, there's moments within them where they're looking at the story and like, oh, did it happen exactly like this or exactly like that? But once they recognize that, look, we've only got two hours to right, tell right. A, a much longer story yeah. than we can fit everything into, then they started understanding, you know, creative license and all that jazz. But at the end of the day, I, I really do, you know, my, I set out, Anna Paquin set out, the Irwin brothers, all, we all set out to, to do their story justice and to tell it truly and authentically. And I really feel like we've done that. You know what? It, we just showed a, a picture of you two together. You, you're a pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you you look like him at that <laughs> time. Like I I really am impressed. Like it's it works. Uh, yeah, we're we're. We're, we're, we're not identical twins, but darn it, we're pretty close. <laughs> pretty close. Pretty close. Okay, so one of the things, too, that I think is so great about this is there's always going to be people that say, I'm not into sports movies, you know, I don't follow sports, that kind of thing. But it's not just a sports movie, right? I mean, this really is about so much more than just football. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the truth is, it's 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 uh, it's only about twenty five percent sports. If even, I mean, you know, the football obviously is the backdrop for how this incredible story, you know, when and how this inc incredible story takes place. Um, so, but if you're not really into sports, it's all good. You know, mm -hmm. it's just moments throughout the film that are helping to give the context of what journey they were actually on. By the way, for all the sports fans out there, the sports is fantastic. It's really well shot. I mean, it's, it's well choreographed. Mm -hmm. A lot of the stuff in the NFL, by the way, well, these were exact plays that they ran. Uh, we looked at footage and or, oh, we, awesome. the, our incredible sports producers did, yeah. and they recreated it. But if you're not a sports fan, listen, 75%, the bulk, the meat of this movie is about 
real life. It's yeah. about relationships and family and faith, faith in oneself, faith in each other, faith in a higher power. I mean, all of that stuff, you know, and, uh, and I think that it's, you know, again, very, very relatable because we've all had our supermarket job. We've mm -hmm. all had a job yep. that, you know, that to thing that by, you had to do until right? you could do what you wanted to do. You had to get by and, and all of the character uh, that it builds. In, I mean, I worked at a car wash for two years. It sucked, <laughs> but you learn and you grow and it teaches you to appreciate what you get later in life. So true. Makes you who you are. It really does. So, so with everything that you're saying, you know, and then I, I look down below and I see that this is out Christmas Day. Could it be out on a more perfect day when you're talking about, you know, renewed hope and encouragement and family and, and all of those things? Like Christmas Day is the perfect day for this movie to, to come out. Yeah, I mean, the fact that lines, the fact that it all timed out, that we, that we were able to shoot it earlier this year, that we were able to put it all together yeah. in time, and, and that Lionsgate was like, we really, we really want to put it out on Christmas Day. It all felt, I mean, it feels like my Christmas present. Like, it, feel, it feels very faded. It feels like it was meant to be. I, we yeah. were all talking about this when we were shooting it. Like, wouldn't it be cool if, and now it's happening. And, yeah, I mean, look, faith, family, and football. I don't know that there's a better day <laughs> to drop a movie like that. I mean, it, it, it just is. I think you're right. Zachary, thank you so much for being with us and for talking about this. I, I can't wait to have a chance to get to see you, you know, in the full action of this movie. I'm looking forward to it. Bless you. Thank you so much and happy holidays. Happy holidays, Zachary. And you can watch American Underdog, the Kurt Warner story when it hits theaters Christmas Day.